What is up, my friends? We are back here at the mines. I feel like my account is permanently locked this mines. Basically a new Snowflake account. Uh, what are we, like a 10 HP, win strike only, locked to say a runecrafting account at this point. But we are still training the runecrafting skill. Oh, probably a better yet, a welcome to my Road to Max series. Right now I'm working on the runecrafting skill. I wanted to straight shot just this skill to 99. Not sure how uh, much that's really going to happen. It is starting to wear on me. It is a lot of just one thing over and over again. Uh, luckily, I am playing some other games right now, which is kind of uh, helping me to distract from how terrible this is, which is why I'm doing it mostly at Souls. I'm trying to do some Guardians of the Rift uh, just because... Uh, you know, uh, collection log slots, that's pretty cool. Uh, I would eventually like to do some collection log content in general, so might as well green that log, or at least attempt to green that log if possible. And uh, yeah, uh, here's my progress so far. Uh, take a look, give me some suggestions down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, I love you all, thank you so much. Any wonder in crafting, coming in hot, just doing some souls. AFK here while I edit for my second channel. I'll leave the channel down in the description below. I'm doing some other games and some real life stuff. Go check it out. It has been way too long. I am coming at you here with a hundred more rift pulls. I've been mainly just doing soul runes AFK while I'm doing some other stuff. So it's good to get a decent amount of Guardians of the Rift in. hundred rift pulls is a, it's a lot of time at Guardians of the Rift actually. So yeah, here we go. Uh, no more intro, just uh, letting these rip. What I'm really looking for is the dies for collection log slots and just as many pearls as humanly possible. Please and thank you. So to make these rift pull sessions a little bit less boring, I wanted to start doing some old school RuneScape story time. I mean, real old school, not a OSRS. So we're talking back in the day, 2005, 2007 era, picture me 12 years old. Now stop picturing me as 12 years old, that's fucking weird. I have uh, so many stories to tell, but only like a minute and a half of this clip to tell them during. So I want to tell you about a time that a uh, e-girl took my Santa hat back in the day. Santas were about 20 mil at the time, so I'm thinking this is probably like 2010 or something. And it was weird, I had a couple of them, and I would just let anybody wear them. I'm talking like friends list. I'm talking random people in the Far Rock East Bank. Like I, I'm not sure why we were in the East Bank instead of the West. I, I was a weird kid, right? Strangely enough, even random people in the bank would give them back. Like this is more money than they would ever have in their lifetime of playing RuneScape. But for some reason, there's a strange amount of honest people on this game, which is it's truly beautiful. And uh, you see it a lot with like high-end PVM now and OSRS. Like most people are very honest. I've had people I met that day split me out of Tebow. So uh, big up for the community. Yeah, one day I gave it to my one friend Roadkill, who just happened to be a girl character. I'm not sure if that factored in, but it might have. At least uh, I think they were going for that angle, but I mean, I, I just let everybody wear it. So I'm not sure if I was being like that big of a, a simp loser or anything like that. But yeah, uh, they wore it for a little bit, then uh, they just, they didn't give it back. They didn't log out or run away or anything, like, they remained on my friends list for years afterwards, they just didn't give it back. Just the strangest type of theft. I, I talked to them like four or five years later when they like came back from one of our like extended break sessions, and they're just like, oh yeah, I sold it for like real life money. It was like, I asked him, I was like, can I have it back? Just like, no, I don't, I, I sold it. Like, you can't have it back. But yet, yeah, just the weirdest possible occurrence of like just getting scammed, but like somewhat still staying friends with the person. Just the, I don't know. We, we were a weird bunch back then. Looking back, might have kept him on my friends list just in the off chance that they did give it back. Uh, just like remembering more, they did do this to a few other people who are in our friend circle. If you remember like Homeworlds, like kind of like everybody in a Homeworlds were like kind of in a friend circle since you just always bumped into them. So they like kind of got blacklisted from the Homeworld more or less, just like nobody would be friends with them anymore. So they had to change Homeworlds. But yeah, just uh, man, the game was so different back then. Just thinking back about how we acted and uh, yeah, just like how homeworlds were. This was kind of a short time slot, but thank you so much for joining me on this little trip down memory lane. I got a lot more 
to come. I tried to record them here, but they're just way too long to fit in this time slot. So I'm going to work on getting some larger rift pull sessions in the future. I'm going to stop the video for just a second here. Don't forget to like it. Please drop me a subscription if you want to hear some more old school, old school, old school RuneScape stories. And uh, we'll get back to the back to the runecrafting. All right. That is the best I've ever done on poor pearls. And it's still under rate, which is just disgusting. But yeah, that's a good amount of pearls. Let me just see how many I have in the collection really quick. 353. We can actually get another piece of the outfit. That is awesome. I wasn't even expecting that collection log slot completed and uh, we can Flex this new row bottoms, which is going to give us a little bit more runes when playing the mini game and when we're doing all those soul runes. Any second now, and that's 92 rune crafting. Halfway, um, well, kind of. I don't really love the whole halfway meme. I get it that it's halfway exp wise, but if we're looking at like overall time to complete it, there's been some massive exp upgrades along the way. Uh, to take like 77 for bloods, just like being able to AFK it was huge for the account. 85 for the big pouch sped things up and then even more like souls sped up the AFK by like 20%. So I don't know, like maybe halfway is like 85 or something, but like, yeah, like halfway EXP wise, so happy to get it. Seven more levels. Uh, we're like kind of almost there, but not really. I'm going to keep at it, but uh, yeah, I, I need to find a way to reward myself here. I think I'm going to do some rift pulls. I'm just going to go right into it. Got, was that, 55? You know, I usually like to do, like, big chunks. Ugh, I'll cut this out. Cool. That was the bank pin. Uh, and now, just going to pull these 55. I usually like to do, like, kind of a bigger chunk, like 100 at a time. But uh, we got the level. We got to celebrate somehow. Got the dopamine going from that. Uh, maybe we'll get some pearls. Looks like we're not gonna get some pearls, but it is what it is. You can only do so much. And there we go. There's twelve. There's twelve. We need another three fifty for the uh, for the top for the the body part of it, and then we need four hundred for the ring, and then we need another three thousand. Ooh, I'm gonna pick up those nations. Holy shit! Somebody dropping some loot out here. I am not above taking this. I am that type of poor person. <clears throat> but uh <laughs> sorry got distracted by the money um yeah need another 3,000 for the uh the pearl orb I, I don't actually know what it's called the the transmog for the pet I got the pet super early on at bloods if you've been following the series at all and uh I'd love the transmog it's uh it's kind of sweaty I know that it's going to be an extreme amount of pearls to get but you know, maybe we'll get some second lanterns. It'll help us out, speed things up a little bit, and um, yeah, we'll we'll take it from there. I'll shut up and just speed through the rest of these. Does anybody remember junk trading? I never really understood it. I remember uh, like the whole end of uh, PvP, end of free trade era was during one of my extended breaks. It wasn't like directly because of it. It was just like lined up that way. But yeah, I remember coming back and thinking just like, do you have to like pay extra money to acquire junk to be able to sell things now? Does anybody understand that? I, I, I guess it just baffles me still. Still didn't go on rate for the pearls, but that's okay. We never do. But this is like almost the best that I've almost done. 55, I should have gotten 110. So we're still under, but 91 for that. It's not as bad as I was going at the beginning. If I look at my log, things are starting to even out a little bit, which is what you should see once you get a bigger sample size. But um, yeah, I'm actually going to do some other stuff and just AFK souls on the side. Um, and I'll see you with the next clip. And here I am back at souls. And actually, uh, looks like this little venerate is going to get us this last little bit of EXP. Thank you, C Engineer. Uh, we are now 93 rune crafting. Big milestone for the account. Not really. It's kind of just one of those in-between levels, but uh, man, 750k EXP to 94th. That is brutal. I have been doing way too much uh, souls compared to the Guardians of the Rift. I do still want to complete the collection log there. Um, well, hopefully. I mean, the pet could be pretty long along with the normal runecrafting pet transmog. 
So I don't know how that's gonna work. I've had a lot of AFK time recently to just do souls on mobile. So that's what I have been doing. And uh, I'll probably continue doing a lot of that. So we'll see where it gets us and uh, I'll see you with the next update. So gamers, I'm gonna call it there. That seems like a good stopping point. I'm pretty far away from 74 still, but as you can see, I am currently doing souls on my way to it. And uh, it's on this other screen, so that's why I'm looking over there. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. If you uh, did like the video, like the video. And uh, yeah, please subscribe. I'm pretty desperate and that would make me very happy. Thank you.